In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the number of DNA copies in a sample. So the equation that is used to calculate the number of DNA copies in a sample is presented here. What I'm going to do is going to break this equation down step by step so it's easier to digest and also give you an example of how you can use this equation to calculate the number of copies of DNA in a sample. The first component of the equation is that you need to know what the amount of DNA is and this needs to be in nanograms. So this will be the amount of DNA of interest. And then this value is then multiplied by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And this number represents Avogadro's constant. Now Avogadro's constant is the number of molecules in one mole. And once done that, you need to then divide all of this by the length of the DNA template. So this is another factor that you'll need to know in advance. So the length of DNA template in base pairs multiplied by one times 10 to the power of nine. And this value is used as a conversion factor to convert to nanograms. And then also multiply by 660. Now the 660 in the equation represents the average mass of one base pair of double-stranded DNA. And this is given in grams per mole. So that's the equation used to calculate the number of copies. Now let's go and use an example. In the example, we want to calculate the number of copies of a DNA amplicon of 585 base pairs in length in a sample containing 250 nanograms of DNA. So when you look at this example, we know two things. We know the length of the template in base pairs and the amount of DNA in the sample, which is 250 nanograms. And then what we can do is go back to the equation and replace the amount of the DNA that we have into the equation which is 250 nanograms. And also we can replace the length with the known length, which is 585 base pairs. And when you do all of this in a scientific calculator, it comes out as the number of copies as 3.899 times 10 to the power of 11. So that is how you can use the equation using the length and the amount of a DNA in a sample to calculate the number of copies, which is useful for qPCR. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you like the video, leave a comment if you have any comments, and subscribe for more content. <laughs>